Hi, my name is Candy. I am a backyard gardener in South Mississippi, and we're starting garden updates this week. Spring is here. I'm ready. Tomatoes and peppers are planted. So to me, that means garden season has officially, officially started. So what I'm going to do from here on out as, as many weeks as I can is we are going to go through and talk about, and I'm gonna show you the progression of my garden so you guys can see how it's going and so then I can also see how it's going. So we're gonna start in my backyard, and we're gonna work my way to the front yard and I'm gonna show you what I have going on. So when you walk into my garden, you will notice I have this big cinder block bed and my garden basically spans our trailer pad. It's got to go somewhere and it's here behind the fence. So here in my cinder block bed, I just built it. I can link this below. It is amazing. I had three smaller beds, but now I have this one huge one. It is perfect. I have 24 tomatoes going down the middle. I put some sunflowers in the back because why not? Herbs and flowers are in these front little spots. So I have some big slicers and I have two of each variety. So I have slicers here. And then you'll notice I have these little lettuce sp starts I found elsewhere in my garden that I transplanted. So it's here kind of as my marker. So after these, I have, um, these are now cherry tomatoes. So I have eight different cherry tomatoes and then you don't see the lettuce again. And then these are my paste tomatoes. So I have Roma, San Marzano. You'll notice I have basil poked up here. Those I had started and I just started some flowers here. I know I started calendula here. I think it's like marigold, cosmos, a few other things that are just, you know, cute. Why not? Here I have um, blue cream, jelly bean, Super 100 and winter grape. Those are my cherry tomatoes. For my big slicers this year, I have Homestead, Marglobe, Boxcar Willie, uh, an heirloom mix, and black crim. So there's that, there's Remy. He'll be following us along. Now, if you turn the other way, I have just a whole bunch of things. Now, because we are limited on space, you'll notice I have grow bags, I have pots on my fence. I try to use all the space I can. So here I have a couple of tomatoes that I overwintered and we just planted them today. I have a grow bag I need to flip. I'm not exactly sure what's gonna go there. And as well as my three um, hanging planters. Don't know what's gonna go there quite yet. I haven't really flipped over from winter to spring my green stock here. This is the terracotta. If you don't have green stock gardens, garden planters, vertical gardens, whatever you wanna call them, they are amazing. I highly, highly recommend them. You can fit so much in one space. And then I have another tomato that I transplanted. This is a tomato I never labeled. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I would remember it, but it is here. And then I have this long bed. Now, some of these starts got a little stunted because we had a late freeze. I'm letting them go. I'm hoping they start doing good. If not, I will honestly just pull them and replant. Down here, I have one of my in-ground areas. You'll notice my five tomatillos I just planted. I have one lonely red cabbage and then a row of green cabbage. I had a broccoli here next to it, but it bolted so fast this year. Uh, my cabbages, I'm just letting them go. If they head up, they do. If they don't, they don't, it's okay. And then I have a four by six bed here. And you'll notice because of the time of day, I'll be <laughs> shadowed in it, but this whole bed is full of garlic. So one day it's gonna come out. This sprouted um, I planted it in the end of October. It sprouted early because we didn't have our first freeze until like almost January. So it's been growing since then. I'll give it another month or so and then it's gonna get pulled up. In my other bed that is a 
four by eight. I have beets and turnips. So I have a whole bunch of stuff in here. Let me get down here and see. I have a nice big turnip. A couple of them, big guys in there. So I planted this as like a ground cover to really help keep the weeds down. You can see I didn't right here and I have a ton of weeds. So all of this was ground cover. It is also what I keep picking as I thin it out to let them keep growing and I give them to my chickens. And then I also have this in ground space. I'm not quite sure what all is gonna go here, but I have the space. And then on this side, I have another green stock. This is full of peppers. And then I did throw some herbs and flowers sporadically where I didn't. So each level is a different type of pepper. So I have a whole bunch of peppers here. A block. And then right here I have a amalgamation of pots because I'm always using what space I have. I have some strawberries here. I have a bunch of mint. I have some lemon balm and then some blackberries right here. And then for my other gate, I have some cool opinions I overwintered. So I'm very excited to see how they go. You can see down here, they have some new growth on them. All of these little leaves are new growth. All of this up here is old growth. So I'm excited to see how they do. This was really an experiment and it's just something fun to try. In my front yard, I have two crepe myrtles and around them I made little beds last year. So in this one, I have some parsley, um, curl and flat leaf, uh, a lavender over here that's gonna get taken over, a bunch of bee balm, thyme, some lettuce in the back, and a bunch of kale right here. I need to come through and start um, picking some so then it can start growing good. And then here in my front yard, I have six established blueberries and you can see they are loaded. So leafed, all the flower blooms are starting. It's very exciting, not much longer. We will be picking a whole ton of blueberries. And then here is my other crepe myrtle bed. I have some dill started, some lettuce, flowers, another ro a rosemary and sage. And then I'm noticing a whole lot of weeds, <laughs> a whole lot of weeds I need to get in here and take out. Under a window in our front, I have down here pineapple basil that is coming back. I recently dug out a blueberry here. It just wasn't getting enough sun. I have some time that all of a sudden it just does not seem like it's doing good. So it's going to get pulled out, transplanted, and I'm going to put an oregano there. This rosemary, I actually have two of them. This rosemary <laughs> needs to get cut back. It's got a crazy arm. And then this is a two-year-old oregano. It doesn't hard freeze here. So I should say it, it doesn't consistently hard freeze here. So oregano and like rosemary grow all year, absolutely no problem. Here are my two blueberries I pulled out from underneath that window. They just weren't doing as good as they could. They're still very young. So I put them in pots. I'm gonna give them this year in pots and then I will transplant them this fall. This is a key lime tree. It also needs to get transplanted. I should have done that already, but you know, life happens. And then I have my Thanksgiving mum <laughs> still hanging on. And I have a whole bunch of flowers I still need to plant. They are gonna go somewhere here in the front. And then last but not least, we have this tiny little spot in front of our yard by our little patio and our garage. And in it right now, we have flowers, uh, cosmos. I don't remember what this guy's name, but I know this is blue tansy. This is celery, some um, marigolds and a whole bunch of things popping up and growing. And then I also have loofahs. Here are my loofahs. They are growing. I have five of them. I'm very excited to see how they grow. I This is their first time outside slowly hardening off, so I'm excited and I am so ready to try to grow these. I have been baby them, babying them like no other. Also in the back, I have three ground cherries. They are in these pots for now. I think I'm going to up pot them very soon. 
And then I have all of my jalapenos. I have a few more cherry tomatoes. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with. Um, habaneros, haven't decided if I'm gonna be brave enough and plant them. And then I believe this was catnip. I forgot to mark it. And so now I can't remember what it is. And it's growing like crazy, kind of floppy. And then last thing to share is my little greenhouse I have back here in my garden. So in it, I have some more flowers and a couple more tomatoes, peppers, and this is great. This greenhouse isn't heated, isn't big enough for me to really grow in, but it's great this time of year to start seeds. And also it's where I store stuff I need readily, things I need the most out here. And it's also from cute old windows from New Orleans. So it just adds a little bit of pizzazz. I have a sign and I need to remember to hang it on here. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me on my first garden tour. I have a cranky kid now. I gotta go see what's up with them. Uh, come back next week and we'll see how everything is doing. Have a good one, guys. Bye.